Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we're going to try and recreate the um, uh, thriller kind of, thriller bass line kind of, you know, the thing, the dun 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 you know, that one. Um, that kind of thing. So what we're going to do is start with an initialized patch. Now I did do this yesterday and got it fairly close-ish. Um, so, uh, yeah. I've got a few notes to refer to my settings, but yes, it. Well, I'll just go through it as a thing. So anyway, we'll go in initialize patch. Uh, first of all, this little box with a down arrow in it, we just long hold that, and it'll say initial preset, init preset, and then it'll initialize it, so you get it. And that's it. That's the thriller back. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, it's not. It's 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 there though, right? So what we want to do, um, the we're going to use all three oscillators here, so we can switch them all on. And I think the we can mess around with the mix of them at the end because that's kind of a preference. Now I'm not even sure if the original thing was done on. Um, let me change my glasses. Um, I'm not even sure what the original instrument was that they used uh, for Thriller, the bass, Mark. So it doesn't, that doesn't really matter. So first of all, let's go through our oscillator bank here. Um, oscillator 2 wants to be on a square wave. We can leave both of those on a sawtooth. The actual uh, range here, uh, we can move oscillator 3. I got best results from oscillator 3 being at 8. This doesn't really make any difference because we're not actually using any glide or modulation. So all that can stay as it is. Um, the, the most important things will be here. So I have to uh, turn this pretty much all the way down. And about we'll go start with that about halfway up. Where are we now? So, the, yeah, the, 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 this is the thing that's going to open our, our filter, the amount of contour, so. And the thing that's going to really help shape the sound, of course, is the, the ADSR filters. And we don't need that on, because it's the K time we're more interested in. And this, now it's getting there. So we try it on the MIDI keyboard. It's simple, quite a simple patch. They, they're all quite simple, though. We can, I don't know if this will make any difference, actually, but it should do. Um, let's see. It's the filter contour, and it makes a real difference in this. So you could actually no. That's pretty close. If you actually listen to it, do I listen to it a couple of times? You can't really hear it, you know, because it's in with everything else. But it sounds that kind of that kind of thing. I I. I think it probably had some, maybe some reverb. So I haven't got a reverb on here, but this is obviously plugged into my Behringer mixer, which does have a reverb. So we can try adding a little bit. And it definitely didn't have any um, delays or anything. So who knows, without hearing the actual, without hearing the actual master tapes and taking everything else out, you'd never know. But I think that's okay. So I'm going to leave that still for a sec. If you want to take a some sort of uh, screenshotty thing, oh, there's that Floyd seventieth one we did yesterday. And I'll I'll double tap to make it slightly bigger so you can see, because you don't need to worry about the actual controllers section as such. Other than that, it's a really nice funky bass. And of course, oh, I'll tell you what I did do. Is Messing around with this, Oscillator 3's 
um, tuning. So guys, there you go. There's kind of your thrillery, <clears throat> thrillery type bass line on on Moog Mini Moog Model D. It's actually a dead easy patch to set up because there's nothing really. Once you've got the, the I think I found that the, I'm teaching myself uh, uh, subtractive synthesis analog analog style because that's it's easy, it's the easiest one to do, basically. And, I, and I'm having a good a good time messing around with these different patches. And what's a lot of YouTube videos and different things, you know. And it's interesting. Um, Model D, uh, Cauldron is brilliant. Cauldron, Yonax Cauldron is amazing for this. It's, it's really cool. And this, of course, it's just classic. But the Mini Moog is slightly different now in their envelope uh, generators, you know. Especially the, this, the ampli amplifi ampli Amplifier one. Is really, uh, it's because they don't have a tactic case sustain, really. They have a, a different thing. It's not like an ADSR, is it? You know, where's the, where's your, how do you make it sustain? You can't, whatever you do. But, however, this little switch down here, which says delay, if you switch that on, this activates your, your loudness contour down here. So you can, you can mess around with that or oh, do retune that as well actually. If nothing else, but if we switch that back off, we, we, we basically switch that off. Anyway, we can set the volume a little bit louder, I guess. Uh, when we're satisfied, <clears throat> Uh, we can just uh, tap this now if, uh, because it was initial preset. If I was adjusting another preset, let me just explain this. If, say, for instance, you're adjusting uh, border base or chariots and you make all these adjustments on here and you tap this, it will say, like, say, for instance, we were playing with chariots, it will say chariots. And if you hit save, it will just overwrite chariots. However, if you change the name, it will install a new a new preset name and leave chariots as it is. So that's just that uh, just that we don't need to worry about that because it'll it's all capitals. That's just a tip because it, it's not quite sure you think you can save active preset as anything. You don't want to lose your chariots or whatever you're working on. Um, just rename it and you won't. It'll still be there. So anyway, we'll call that. Um, I don't know. Let's call it Thriller. Bit of bass, I don't know what it is, and then you hit save, and then it'll be added to the to the bank sort of thing. It's I mean, it's gone into classics, but it's kind of classic, yeah. And then it's uh, oh. <laughs> best in bass, look. um, thriller bass. Yeah, so you know, I guess a lot of these. Analogy bass sounds. I love the sound in late. I'm gonna have to try and do lately. You know, Stevie Wonder that bass, that rubbery bass. And I think that was a Roland that did that. Boom, 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 boom. Brilliant. A lot of wibbly wobbly on the old modulation and uh, more than probably the pitch. More on babbling on. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and it, it, it's a fun patch. Anyway, um, yeah. If you liked it, give the video a thumbs up. I'll put links in for Moog's Model D, Mini Moog. And uh, uh, yeah, please subscribe to the channel or consider becoming a patron. And I will see you guys later.